everyone. Here's Kenga. She says hello. She wants to be in the video today. Um, today I'm going to do a product review. I really like to do these videos. I hope that they're really helpful for you. I feel like they are. So I'm going to do it on these, which are these Stila Smudge Sticks. Um, the technical name is Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. I have five. I did get these in a set around Christmas for about $17. I'm not sure the full retail price. I want to say it's close to 20 but I will link that below. Um, or I'll, I'll put a little annotation in this vicinity, and then I'll link it below. I have five shades, and I'll go over that um, in just a second. Um, and I'll link those below, too. And I'll also link any other product review I've done below, just in case you're interested in seeing that. So first, let's go for packaging. I prefer a twist-up, which these are. Um, and this is just um, the one in steam gray. It's just very much your typical twist up packaging. I like that the whole, whatchamacallit, the whole like actual packaging and stick is the color of the eyeliner as you can see. It's not like just um, a little end. However, they have a major packaging flaw to where you can't twist them down. And again, I do have five so I don't think it's a fluke and looking online at um, reviews I find that a lot of people that so if you twist it up to see how much product you have you can't twist it back down also when I first got these twisting it up what it took it was hard and I saw a lot of people are like oh my goodness mine don't work and it's because you have to twist a lot to get it to actually start coming up so you'll notice that none of mine are like super high up because if you twist it up you can't twist it back down so, let's do some swatches. There's Stingray, which is just um, your very typical black. Then let's do this one. This one's Lionfish, which is a brown that's got some glitter. It's very fine glitter. Um, and these, these glide on super well. When you swatch them, they're fabulous. Um, here's Albergine, I believe. It's A-U-B-E-R-G-I-N-E. Um, this one's pigmentation is lacking, and it's another kind of metallic -y purple. And then I have a navy one, and I believe it's just called navy. That is correct. And this one um, is also, it's kind of got like a semi-metallic finish. And I do like that it is a definite navy. Sometimes you'll get a navy and it's really just a black. Um, but these are definitely navy, and this is what I have on my eyes today. It's the one that I have worn the most, and it is an emerald. So upon swatching, you think, wow, these are great. And if you put them in your upper lash line, they're fabulous. Uh, not like waterline, I can't, um, or tight line up here. I can't tight line. I, it just freaks me out. I can't do it. But on your upper lash line, um, they'll stay all day. However, personally, I don't have an issue with that. I always have my eyeliner stay all day on my upper lash line. The real trick is the water line. Pigmentation wise, these just don't show up this way. The green, or it's called emerald, this one shows up pretty well. Again, that's what I have in my water line today. It shows up pretty well. The other four, the darker shades, just do not show up. You have to go over and over and over. And then as far as the lasting power in the waterline, I'm not impressed. I put this on at about 8 o'clock. No, like 8.30. It is now around noon, and it's. I had to reapply it. I have some other ones that I will recommend to y'all that are, are cheaper and stay better. So, Rimmel Scandalize. Duh. Everyone talks about them. They swatch, and you see this pigmentation? And it, like these, like th they have great pigmentation, but this actually looks like that on the waterline. Samita Beauty. These are kind of expensive. I believe they're about twenty dollars a piece. Um, you can get them on Birchbox's website. These are amazing. Um, I would say they're a little bit better than the Rimmel Scandal Eyes, but again, they are significantly more expensive. The Rimmel ones are less than uh, five dollars. So there's that. You see that black, and you can even see, like, you can see that it's a little bit blacker than the um, Stingray one from Stila. Another one that's really good that people do not talk about is the Sonia Cash of um, Eye Definers. Pigmentation is on point, and staying power is great. So I must admit that I would be more inclined to reach for these three than these. And I do have multiple colors of these. I just didn't see the point of bringing 
the amount. The reason why I would buy a Stila one is the colors, they have so many options. I know they just came out with like, I want to say about 20 for Sephora, and they do have some Sephora specific colors. I'm not sure if they have Ulta specific colors, it's definitely a possibility. Um, and when I got this in a set, I got this in a set for all five for about like $17 I want to say. I got it in a set and then it was on clearance further. And for like this color that I have not been able to find a dupe for, I would go back. For these colors that are pretty generic, no, I would not repurchase these. So again, if you find, and I have seen, and I haven't personally tried this, so I don't know, but I have seen um, someone I watch, X Sparkage, um, I'll link her below, I believe she's like a professional makeup artist, and she's used it as like a cream base almost, and she said they don't smudge. Um, so that's an option. Overall though, I'm really not impressed. I would repurchase it if I could get it in a good set, um, some cool colors, but even, you know, getting it on sale, like I don't use this black whenever I use my Rimmel one or my Sunita Beauty one or something. Um, so no, overall I don't rec recommend these unless you find a color that you just have to have. So, um, and hopefully, I don't know this for sure, but this one is my only bright one and it definitely has the most pigmentation. So I would hope, I don't want to guarantee it, but I would hope that the brighter ones maybe do have better pigmentation across the board. Who knows, but that's all I have for y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave it down below and I will for sure answer them. Um, again, I will link all of my product reviews that I've ever done down below in case you want to know my opinion about other products. Um, and if you want to see my opinion on something that I don't have a review on, please let me know. Um, I have an Instagram and a Twitter and a Facebook. It's Becky Loves Kanga everywhere. I'm more active on my Twitter and Instagram because I can update them directly through my phone. So whatever you want, um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye.